Hello, hello, hello. We have the Rangers of Lore. Okay, I can't say that name. I <laughs> uh, hope you're having a good day. Um, this is a follower. It's a small follower mod. Looked, It sounded interesting somehow. It says the second in a series of follower mods. I may have missed the first one. Maybe I should look up more Rangers of Mod. Uh, Rangers of Mod. Oh my goodness. Well, you can tell my mind is doing something. Rangers of Lore. Anyway, it looks like Demavia, Demavia, Demivia. Who knows? Anyway, this is going to be a Dunmer Mage follower. So let's um, let's take a look at her. I'm in. Let's see. She is located. I know it's a she because I've started this several times and and just failed and had to start over. <laughs> I just I admit it. That's just the way it happened. Um, let me see. She can be found in the white in uh, in White Run at the Temple of Kenrith. Well, not actually at the temple, but inside the temple. Okay, because she's always sitting. When I come through the door, she's always sitting right there. I'm gonna do a quick save in case I mess this up and have to do this again. This would make it easier for me. <laughs> That's awful to say, but it's true. So now, overall, if you look at her, she's wearing usual Dunmer clothes. I like the purple eyes. Overall, she looks pretty good. Pretty vanilla, but that's what I expected. It's a small mod. We're one of the same kind, you and I. Now, I'm um, glad to have met you. Let's, let's get her to be our follower, because you can't yes, tell much so until she's our follower. Let's not waste any time. Let's not waste any time. That's right. Now, it said she started out at level 10. Now, notice, now this happened the previous time when I had the fail video. Um, she she changes clothes automatically. I guess this is her adventuring clothes. And this is the uh, uh, Telvani robes. Is that what that is? Anyway, she is of the house Telvani. Excuse me. She's of the house Telvani. And um, let's take a look. I think, she, if I remember right. Oh, dude. <sighs> You know, I'm always accosted by somebody in Skyrim. Yesterday, it was this little child, or maybe it was a few days ago. It was in some video I was watching. Of, I was trying to check mine and and uh, see if my video was okay. And anyway, let's let's move somewhere else since we can't do this without being bothered. All right, now let's try again. Now, okay. let's get going. Just hold on. Let's check. Let's check your. Um, Let's check her info. Let's see. Um, we're going to check her spells. She's supposed to be a mage. It's good to know what kind of spell she has. Now, remember, she's at her low level right now. Gretel is only level 10, so this girl is not going to be very high level. Um, okay, fast healing. She has some good spells. Chain lightning, the, the flesh spells, armor spells. Um, a lot of lightning. That's good. She can conjure Atronax. That's good. Oh, and she can reanimate a corpse, and she can do regular healing. Now, for my purposes, I'll just tell you what I would do, is I would give her the heal other spell so she could heal me occasionally. And and I might get rid of the... It depends on how it works out. Well, no, I would probably let her keep the Atronax spells. They're handy. The reanimate corpse stuff, I really don't get into that. It's kind of annoying. Um, so let's see what her perks are in. Okay, nothing there. So her only perks, her only perks are in Alteration and Restoration. That's okay. It would be nice if she had a perk in Destruction. You know, something handy so that she could cast more Destruction. Um, also Conjuration, but um, I guess I could manually level her, but I don't. I never do that. I always just let them level automatically. See? Auto level. I could manually level my followers. I should try that. I've never tried it before. Beside the point, I'm just rattling on here. Um, so she has some good spells. That's interesting. Did we check her gear at all? Because I want to see... Um, let's enable outfit management. I'm not going to change her clothes right now. Okay. She's using my body and, I think, my meshes, it looks like. Um, 
You know, I like her face overall, but I would say on the markings, on the paint, choose one or the other, having both the red and the white. I don't know, it's, it's too much, I think. I think I would choose one or the other. But I do like the purple eyes, and her mouth looks good, and everything. Um, the face overall looks good. I'm just saying, you know, I'm not a big tattoo person anyway, but I would choose one or the other and not do both of those. So subjective, right? It doesn't really mean anything, it's just my thoughts. Um, so we have a hunting bow. She has some money. She has some torches. Staff. And this was what she was wearing. Now why she's not using the staff, I do not know. I don't know, maybe we should give that to her. For right now, I'm not going to. So let's look at what she's what using. Oh, she assumes I'm gonna take something. So she has four daggers. All right. She has some, and she has 750 Telvani robes. Yes, she really does have 750. That's, that's fine, I don't know why she has that. But that robe is pretty good, it helps her magic regenerate. Um, I would give her stuff to boost her magic more, um, but I'm not going to for the sake of our trial here. I just want to take her somewhere where she can... You know, since she has that staff... Hold on a second, girl. Since she has that staff, I'm going to take the staff, and I'm going to give it to her. What do you need to take? Da-da-da... Uh, I want her, I don't want her to use, let's see, I'm going to give her the item is, oh, she's overloaded. She has too much stuff. Let's just take those from her. Now, let's give her that. So, she has that. Let's take these. I'll leave her one. I'd really rather she didn't use any. I'm going to take it. All right, so I'm going to do a little something. We're going to do just a little something on combat. Now, you can leave her to just do combat however she feels. I really never do that. I'm going to tell her to use magic and staff. That way, any staff I give her, she can use, and she can cast all she wants. But she won't do anything else. <clears throat> you can have her be a spell sword, and, well, you can see here your options are pretty good options. So... That's just me. This is what I'm going to do. Because I want to see how she does um, with her magic. And since they gave us a staff, why not let her have that staff? So, um, let's see. Ember Shard Mine or Fort Greenwall? Hmm, you know that's... I'm going to go to one of those two. That's just the way it is. That way we can find some bandits. What is it? And let her... Hush, girl. good. I have, uh, I have a torch as needed, so that's good. So Gretel will be in good shape. We'll turn, we'll take her other thing off. Let's see. Should we go to Fort Greenwall? Fort Greenwall is pretty fun. Ember Shard Mine, it's pretty crowded and small. Let's take her here and let her run wild. I think Gretel is wearing the God Ring, so she won't really take any damage, and we can just see how our follower does. That will be fun. I like to see how the followers act. Um, now, mind you, I did mess with her a little bit, and I normally don't do that, but I just thought since she's a mage and a caster, why not have her use her magic? And they, they did give us a staff, so let's let her use that. I'm pretty sure these are bandits. Hello? Hello? Hmm. Oh, here we go. Now we can get it started. Oh. Oh, she summoned something. That's cool. Good. Oh, and she's shooting some lightning. You know, lightning is the best destruction spell to give your uh, followers. At least I think so. Where's she at now? Oh, she's going up there. I better follow her. She is the bodyguard. Let's let's go with her. Oh. 
Oh, her Atronac is hitting them. Oh, she went somewhere. Hold on. Alright, let's watch her in action. Yeah, I still think Lightning is the best. My followers tend to do the best with Lightning. That Fire Atronach is a flame Atronach has lasted a long time. Well, poor Gretel, she's she's injured. She's injured again. Oh my goodness, the, the horrible arrow. Oh, okay, that's one down. I, or that's two down, isn't it? That's another one down. Oh, she's putting her mage armor on herself. Well, now she's not doing, oh no. Oh, no, I, oh man. Why do I always get a dragon when I come out here? Well, that's okay. Let's just continue. For our purposes, we just want to see what this follower does. So. I think I still have it on legendary, though. That's probably a mistake. It makes it harder. Oh, but look at that. Oh, she took an arrow to the face, man. Oh, it's gone now. Well, the dragon is still flying around. Don't we still have an enemy here somewhere? Is that enemy up there? It might be. Or is that the dragon? Well, you can see here, she's a she's a pretty good follower. Um, now, mind you, I made her use this. Well, I told her to use the staff. I don't actually see her using it. I know if you give them like a staff of sparks or a staff of fire, they will use it. I'm not sure about the conjuration staves. Maybe she doesn't use it as much. Ouch. Well, where? There you are. Come up here and help me. There you go. Oh, now. There she goes. She summoned. So she is using that staff, I think, to summon. Though she had that spell in her arsenal. All right. Don't make me come over there and punch you. Ha, I missed. I missed. I'll kill you if I have to. Look at this. Now, I'm on Legendary. I think I have the God Ring on. I can't really take any damage. But I can't really do much damage to her either, punching. I have no skill in it, though. Do I have a weapon? I don't think I gave her any weapons. <laughs> this is a fine time to decide you need a weapon. I know. Um, oh, actually, though, wait just a minute. Did you see that? I can use two of those. Ah, here we go. We can have some fun. Oh, well, my follower killed her. Killed her. So there you have it. Our follower is pretty good. Let's go in here. We'll hide from the dragon. We don't need to chase the dragon. So this is her, I think, overall. She is a good follower. You can tweak her a little bit to suit your play style. Um, I don't know what else I would show you about her. Um, everything you would do to tweak her, you know, you'd have to give her different um, clothing and weapons and things. Um, sorry for the ums, but I'm trying to think. That's about it. Uh, she... I will say again, she's a good small follower. Uh, my only really critique is just that I would, actually I would have done her with no face paint, but if you're going to do the war paints or whatever, tattoos, whatever you want to call it, you know, just choose one or the other. I, I think that's a little too much. I like the purple eyes. I like, you know, everything else about her. I like the spell she has. I might add a healing spell, you know, so she could heal me. Um, I might, no, that's that's probably about it. See, I would just make some little minor tweaks, and she would be a, a very good follower. So, that's all. Um, that's all I have on this follower. So, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later.